Welcome guys to the Benfica career mode once again and uh, what an episode last episode what a, was a great game against Porto and uh, before we start off in this episode it is the January transfer window so let's see what we have been doing in the January in the January Jesus Christ transfer window we need to sign a backup goalkeeper because Vlakadimos is our only goalkeeper because Sevilla wanted to leave left back position is fine centre back position also fine we've recalled Tavares, let's quickly put a development plan on him. Cool. Let's do that. Uh, let's do a. Let's give him. Let's give him a wide back. But yeah, we've recalled Tavares. We've actually recalled quite a lot of people. Gilberto is on the transfer list. Florentino is also back. He's uh, one of the players I actually really like in real life. He's a great CDM. So let's give him an anchor man. It's probably what I'm going to give him. We need more weak foot. Let's do that. So yeah, we've recalled him. He's probably going to be getting some game time. Uh, we are going to try and sell some midfielders here. Have I put PZ? I'm thinking of selling PZ. Put it in the comments if you think that should happen. Just because he's old. I really like PZ. Obviously, he's a Benfica guy. But yeah, he's quite old. And we've got, obviously, for an engine now to go in that CDM position. So... We'll see. Jota is also returning. Development plan for him as well. Let's get that done. I really like Jota. Another player off our youth academy in real life who is actually incredible. He's doing quite well for Celtic as well. I'm pretty sure. Uh, another sale is... Oh, why is he not happy? Oh, team performance and player performance. You've been doing well. Yurem Chuk is leaving us, obviously. I put him on the transfer. He's angry that he's not playing, but yeah, that's what you expect. I've recalled Vinicius just for the purpose of getting money from him. Just going to, yep, recall him. And hopefully, that is what's going to happen. Throughout this episode, we may be signing a, black, uh, a backup goalkeeper. But I've been trying to do some training drills, so I'm going to carry on with that. And we may see you for the first game or our first signing. Uh, your salary, mate. I'm going to go with 30k and hope for the best. Yes, okay. We've signed, a, we've signed Robert Sanchez as a goalkeeper. 76, okay, that ain't bad. It was at this moment that he knew too steep, he fucked up. I. Yeah, very steep. Oh, Jesus Lord. But anyways, it's a, it's a good backup at least. We've got a nice backup in goal. So that sorts out our goalkeeper problem. Other than that, I don't really know if we need any other backups. Maybe it's just first team players we need now. And you never know, Everton might be a guy who I'm going to think of trying to get back. At one point, but let's go finally into our first game of the episode. It's 40 minutes into this stream here, and we've got a bunch of games that honestly I don't think I care about. But okay, either way, let's play two games against Moriense. And I think this is Bacos Ferreira, I think it is. So let's just go straight into this game. Okay, here we go. We didn't really get an intro there, not gonna lie, which is annoying. However, we're in the Benfica Stadium once again, Estadio de Luz. For this game against Bacos Ferreira. We've actually been quite comfortable in the games we've played in the league. I don't think we've lost yet, so let's keep it that way, please. We have drawn against Tondela, though, which I remember. Oh, it's a lovely play. And Malassia has now found space on the wing here. Malassia can run. Malassia can still run. It's good, it's good play from Malassia, but it's going to be a corner. It's crossed in there. Jetson has an open head and it will be a goal kick. Good play from Pacos Pereira there. Not really anything too dangerous though. Nothing I should be scared of at least. Doing very well in the midfield right now. Oh, that's a beautiful tackle and not. Great play there. We would have been thrown goal if that tackle didn't come in. Oh god. Florentino, lovely interception. Verissimo. Florentino. Florentino could probably run here and he does. He's found space. Florentino now. Jesus lord the power on that pass. Didn't mean for that to happen.
Oh, it's a ball over the top he's tried to pull off there. Good defending. Renato Sanchez now. Fontino. Great play from Fontino. Now he skips past the player. Fontino. Tries to get a ball across. He's trying to be fancy here, yeah, not going to lie. Oh, good tackle from Verissimo. Renato Sanchez. Oh, beautiful from Fontino. Almost, almost a good play there. Fontino almost getting there. Renato Sanchez now defending. Oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous from the goalkeeper. Gonzalo Rems. Can he finish it from here? Yes, he can. Solid finish from Gonzalo Rems. Oh, that wasn't Gonzalo. That was Jed Son. Jed Son has got in there somehow. That was a great pass from Florentino, I think that was. I thought that was, oh, yeah, that was Gonzalez, never mind. So it was Gonzalez to Fernandes. What a finish there. Damsgaard. Florentino now back to Damsgaard. Can Damsgaard do something? To Florentino, Damsgaard. Florentino, lovely. Florentino now with a shot. Lovely finish. It's Jetson again, actually. I keep thinking that's Florentino, because I remember Florentino wore the 80 something number. But another great finish. Oh, yes! Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that is sublime from Damsgaard. That could be the goal of the season there. What a goal this was. Beautiful. This was just well worked. That is that's quite something, that. Oh, mistake. Oh, God. What's just happened there? They were just messing around at the back and Gonzalo Ramsh takes advantage of it. It was Jedson who put the tackle in. Or was that Florentino who put the tackle in? I can't even tell. I think that was Florentino. Oh, God. Shot almost to me past. Oh, that's a great pass. Marcus Pereira now could do something here. Good block. I was almost destined to be a goal there. It's a great block though. And that's a great pass. This surely has to be a goal now. Uh, yeah, good. Like a Demos in training can defend that, but apparently in a game he can't. Which makes pure sense, obviously. Tight angles. That's it. Great game. And Molly Ince shouldn't be that much different for Vinicius here at 18 mil. I'm accepting that straight away. Happily accept that. The bald guy from the start of the FIFA career mode, and that's a good save there. Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez. Oh, what a shot. Great save. Molly Ince, though. This ain't good. Really isn't good. Surely that's offside. And it will be offside. Right now. It probably will. It's another great save from Black of Demos. He's actually saved us so many times this season. Corner kick now. Honestly, we don't really deserve to win this by the way this game is going. That's easy. That's Renato Sanchez. Great shot, good save. It's in there. Like you could, G. Grimaldo now. Oh, that's beautiful. Grimaldo. Out of nowhere. Oh, that's Damsgaard, not Grimaldo. I thought I saw a number three, not a number seven. Damsgaard had Spacey on the edge of the box. Oh, that is sublime from Damsgaard. The a chance here. Not Sanchez. Can Rafa get there? Yes, he can. Rafa over the top. Nunez can't get there. He naughty, naughty. It's Florentino he with the volley. Oh, that's naughty, sublime. Naughty. Florentino. <laughs> that is a goal and a half. We've scored two absolute beautiful bangers this game. Alliteration and everything. Look at that. Oh, what a finish. You wouldn't expect that off Florentino, but he's absolutely smashed that into the bottom corner. 
Beautiful finish. The goalkeeper could have done better, honestly. I don't know why his arms were that high. But we'll take it. We really don't deserve to win this. But that was a great goal from Florentino. Oh, I would be shocked if Mariense didn't get at least one goal this game. And they probably will get that goal. No, they won't. Couldn't take the opportunity. And it's a clean sheet once again to end off the episode. And a great win. Let's just check where we are on the table. And if Porto lost... See real quick where Porto finished in their game. I don't think it's going to show us the Porto game. I think we just have to check ourselves. And yeah, we're tied on points right now. Porto did lose a game. We're tied on points. Our goal difference is a five right now. But we do take lead off the table, which is very incredible because we were six points down behind them. We've managed to get back up to where we should be, the top of the league. That'll be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.